How can you turn your aluminum can waste into recycled treasure? In this video, we are going to show you how we created a metals refining factory for the Empire of Eternia, small enough to be made and used at home. Warning: The processes used in this video are dangerous and can cause bodily harm if done improperly. Don't build this if you are inexperienced working with mains electricity. First, we have to sort our metals based on the way they need to be broken down. Because of our ability and tools, we break down our cans and separate the walls of the can from the top and bottom, which are made of thicker pieces of aluminum. Next is the breakdown process. Here we've developed a method of quickly cutting our thin sheets into small shreds to be more easily melted. While I'm doing that, Tiffany's removing the tabs from our can tops and separating the rest. Once we have our metal broken down, we can take our shreds and melt them in our electric arc furnace. This one was styled after the King of Randoms video on the same topic. Because of the high amount of slag aluminum cans produce, we refine the metal at least once before casting to increase the purity of that cast. Finally, now that we have a nice pure metal, we can cast it into whatever we want. In this case, we're going to make an aluminum ingot. Now we have the factory, but who's going to run it? I think I know just the person. David, our newest citizen, has come to the Empire for the first time to be trained as a blacksmith. Yeah! Ooh! Nice. Very solid. Okay, let's see the grand reveal. Is it battery slug? Oh yeah. Super slug. Hey, very nice. <laughs> cool, put it on there. Two point Two seven. Very nice. Point five more, baby. Yup. And then if we add our other one that was 2.2. Almost five ounces. Uh, he today, uh, in addition, came by to melt some copper to learn the rest of the stuff uh, that we've been up to, and has gotten pretty good at it. Uh, he's able to do the blacksmithing stuff on his own, uh, and is even going to be taking home today his very own art furnace. So we will have uh, two people actually working to produce metal for the empire, both uh, David's house and here. Um, in addition to that. David has also uh, purchased over 200 notes uh, from the Empire of Eternia, placing him at the top of the aristocrat board as Eternia's first aristocrat, uh, passing up Richard Taylor. And uh, today I finally have his 200 notes, incredible amount, is a thick stack. Oh, yeah. And, uh, which I didn't get to give him last time he was here, David's official citizenship license. Sir. And then as a token of completing uh, the uh, blacksmithing uh, sort of apprenticeship that we have uh, in order to sort of take over the reins of the blacksmithing that we're doing, I would like to present David with the Iron Ring. Rock and roll. Yes sir. So Richard, you're going to have to work real hard. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's coming for you, Richard. He's coming for the title. So that being the case, uh, uh, David is now the head blacksmith for the Empire of Eternia. Uh, we have a lot planned as far as uh, trying to continue to grow this industry, trying to do a lot more with the Empire locally, uh, and David has been playing a big part in all that. So uh, thank you again, David. No problem. Yeah. Fine style. Oh, absolutely. Now that we have a trained blacksmith to run our forge, the at-home metal factory is complete, and we are one step closer to changing the world.
If you want to keep up with the growth of our nation, subscribe and turn on all notifications, as well as join our Discord, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, and Etsy. Thank you.